Today, Nixa joins Springfield and Ozark in issuing a stay-at-home order. Good evening, I'm Heather Lewis. We're glad you're here. Once again, I'm David Oliver. All three of these orders to stay at home go into effect coming up tomorrow. Color 10's Jesse Inman up first tonight. He has more on what Springfield's police chief had to say today about the enforcement of this order during a special news conference this morning. Jesse? Yeah, the main point here from police chief Paul Williams is if you don't have to be out, just stay home. Chief Williams says there won't be any checkpoints or shakedowns specifically to catch people for being out, but it's important to follow the order and only be out if it's defined as an essential activity or if you're going to work at an essential business. We are not going to be indiscriminately stopping people to check to see what their status is or where they're going. Um, when the, the city nor the county is issuing any type of permits or papers or something that someone has to carry to show the, the police. Um, I would ask if you are stopped and the officers are going to stop people as we do every day for a variety of reasons. This will certainly be a follow up question. Um, just be prepared to explain what you're doing and where you're going. Chief Williams says the last resort for those who don't comply is the maximum fine of up to $1,000 or jail time of 180 days. And if you can find, if you want to find all the essential activities and businesses, you can do so at ozarksfirst.com.